Hey guys, are you looking for something easy, fast, and a stunning design for girls or even an adult? Then go ahead and grab your kit and get ready to have some fun. That's what's coming up next. Hey guys, my name is OG of Extremely Loud Faces and what I'm looking to do is share with you today an effective, easy to do, beautiful stunning design. I'm sure that if you practice design maybe three to five times, you can definitely add it to your board as a permanent crowd pleaser. You'll be painting like a pro in no time. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the materials that you're gonna need. You're gonna need about three brushes. A liner brush, a really good teardrop petal brush, and a messy brush. Well, OG, what do you mean by that? Well, a brush that you're not really concerned about what happens to the bristles. One that you're gonna be able to use in a rough effect and not be concerned that it doesn't take its shape back again. Next, you're gonna need five colors. White, black, yellow, orange, and green. Two pouncers, one medium, one small. Here's my medium pouncer. Here's my small pouncer. I've already been using it. So I'd like to go ahead and try to break it up into five different steps. First step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, load and apply. Grab your medium pouncer, your yellow paint, take a little bit of water, spray your paint, and load. You want a nice, full coat load and there it is then using that same technique take your orange apply water same pouncer you just loaded and what you want to focus on is just slightly loading the edges so that you have a little shadowed effect so here we go time to apply I twisted and now I'm going to go ahead and pounce. One right there and one right here. Little twist and a pounce for more application of color. One quick step, one quick tool, and instantly you have that great gradient shadowing effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and work that in a little bit more with a little bit more yellow. Using that same technique, it's time to move on to two more petals. Or rather, two more circular petals parts of the flower. Just this time it's going to be smaller. We're going to spray water, take your smaller pouncer, and load with yellow. Spray the orange, lightly coat and load the edges. Do not get the center of your pouncer. Here we go. One, two. Be sure to leave some space. Between all the circular parts of the flower. Okay. Maybe I'll stop right there. All right. All right, step two, we're gonna load and apply our teardrop brush. Here's mine. I'm gonna rinse that out and I'm gonna grab my white color. You want a creamy consistency as you load your entire brush. Not too runny, not too sticky.
All right, I think I got a nice load for you. What you wanna do is apply a combination of teardrops. What do I mean? Let's see if I could do it here. Teardrop one is going to be straight, okay? And then a curvy one and another curvy one. Combine these three different types of teardrops to apply your petals. Let's get started. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in all the gaps that I have with more teardrops. You might need another load at this point. Reload, creamy consistency. Here we go. Be sure to fill in all the gaps. Using the same technique, apply the petals to the other flowers. Reload. Let's get started. Remember, we do not want the same size petals. We don't want our petal tops or points to be even with each other. And we don't want straight teardrops and curvy teardrops all bundled in one area right next to each other. Here we go and now fill in your gaps. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. I felt my brush getting really sticky. Here we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same technique for the next flower. Time to fill in the gaps. There you go. I'm gonna rinse that out and put that aside. Now it's time to grab your green. You can have fun and be creative with the green. Light green, dark green, maybe you can use a split cake. It's completely up to you. Load up that same brush. Grab my light green. Load it up. And randomly, sporadically, place down leaves. Here we go. Teardrops. 
teardrops will give you nice, cute little leaves. maybe one more here now at this point you can apply glitter to give it that stunning dazzling effect I'm gonna go ahead and skip that part you can embellish it while the white is drying with red lipstick or pink lipstick or neon lipstick anything that's gonna bring together make it give it that cohesive effect now I'm going to grab my liner brush. Grab a little black. Load that up. With the very tip of that brush, you're going to apply a small series of little dots on one part of the circular area. That'll give the effect and the illusion of pollen. Here we go. Something I've learned and I want to share with you is it's always difficult trying to decide well what looks visually appealing. Someone told me if you're going to apply dots or leaves, try to remember three, five, seven, nine. A series of three dots, a series of five dots, a series of seven, nine. Whatever you feel your design is going to need to take that, give it that balance. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and outline my leaves. Make sure to be able to apply the little vein area of your leaf. One final step. We're going to take our messy brush. Final step. We're going to take our messy brush, sorry about that, we're going to make sure it's just damp. We don't want it watery, maybe dry it out a little bit on your hand. I don't have a beautiful gray, so I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of black and create a nice wash, a watered down black so that it can give the illusion of gray. So that's too dark. What we want to do is just play with it. a little bit of water there so you get a nice light gray finish and as you can see I continue to do that don't have a sponge or a towel but if you had a sponge that would be perfect so I got my nice gray I want my brush to create a dry effect so I don't want it too wet there you go and I'm going to go from the very center where the circle and the petal meet and in the center I'm going to create that realism effect to every petal. There you go. Apply that to every petal and you have that nice beautiful flowing movement with the combination of straight and curved teardrops. 
a little bit of gray in the center of every petal. It doesn't have to be a straight line, just a nice, a nice swooping motion. And then once you have that gray, just apply a little bit of water to wet your brush a little bit more. Go on your sponge or your hands, whatever you're working with. Make sure you have that dry, not too wet, and begin to apply the gray or your wash. Now be sure to do that to every petal and before you know it, it's gonna be absolutely stunning. I'll go ahead and provide you with a photo so that you can see the final effect, how adding lipstick or maybe a little bit of glitter can just bring that cohesive design all together and allowing your guests to just be wowed. All right, so be sure to subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see future videos of my tutorials. I'll go ahead and provide all my contact information and I'd absolutely love to hear if this video has helped you. I wanna hear all about all of your comments, what you think about it, maybe what you might wanna see, and I'll talk to you soon.